I suffer with inflammatory bowel disease. There's a problem with urgency and frequency of, of bowel movements. It's made life very hard, especially from the performance aspect of my life. Anxiety is one of the triggers. So whenever there's a show or a match coming up, I find the symptoms increase. I'll come in for the big splash. Boom. Uh, uh, no, you're going to give me a I'll give you a forearm. Just give you a big splash. It can be hugely psychological. As much as I hate that part of my brain that I can't control, controls my symptoms. There is a certain power of when you step out through the curtain that there's such an intense focus on performance that it just strikes it completely from my mind, from my subconscious. I've never had a problem in the ring or in any facet of performance where I felt symptoms coming on, where I felt any urgency. So it's almost like a place of relief. Every eight weeks I have to go to the hospital for a, uh, a drug infusion, an immunosuppressant drug, anti-TNF drug, uh, and so it dampens my immune system, makes me lethargic and tired and, and things like that. Any reactions to your last infusion? No. Nope. Any new problems? Um, no, I mean I'm experiencing flare-up, but that's why I'm, yeah, yeah, no. I'm not the only one in the wrestling business that, that suffers with colitis. I actually am probably one of the, the ones that's better off. Uh, I know two people working at the moment and they've, they've had the surgery that, that I might have to have if, if these drugs don't work. So um, it gives me, those two guys um, give me confidence that even if I do have to go through that, yes, it's going to be like a year of my wrestling career out the window, but it, I can come back to it even after suffering through that. So yeah, so there are a few people in the, in the business that are successful and, and have ulcerative colitis and I'm hoping to be one of them. I fight it with, with good humour almost and, and I can laugh and I'll tell stories to the boys all the time of times I didn't make it to the loo and stuff like that. And I'm sure there's going to be a case one day where it happens in the ring. <laughs> and it's going to make a great story.